Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this duo that's taken over today because Dude, Nick that's hates taken us. over the podcast recently. Yeah. Um. Welcome back. Uh, we missed last week because um, people are busy, Nick but we're Nick back here. I'm your host, JD Wonder, alongside Mikey Love, looking at some baseball this weekend since you know college basketball is all finished up. First off, I'm going to check up. in. Uh, with my boys at Northern Colorado. After beating Omaha, they decided to put it on South Dakota State. They won three straight, 19 to 7, 19 to 7, and 26 to 12. Then they beat Air Force, 8 to 5, and then lost to Oral Roberts twice and tied them. So they're currently sitting at 6 and 24 and 1 on the season. Now looking at weekend played, we had a few upsets. South Carolina, Texas A&M going back and forth in their games. Um, Western Kentucky upsetting and taking the series from Dallas Baptist. Missouri, I believe, fully sweeping Florida on the weekend. Um, Wake Forest taking the series against Virginia Tech, hoping to bounce back um, after falling in the rankings. Oh, they swept Virginia Tech? Mm-hmm. Perfect. They're looking to uh, come back with a vengeance as now they hope to kind of boost their ranking through that. Um, Kentucky, Alabama, I believe Kentucky took the series there. Florida Atlantic did upset East Carolina in one game, I believe, but the East Carolina ended up taking the series. Same with Boston College. Same Louisville with Louisville. Swept. Yeah, they swept it. Louisville did? Yeah. Heck yeah. Coast Carolina also swept Old Dominion. No, he didn't. That game was rigged, actually. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, um, yeah. Nebraska, I think, took the series against Ohio State. I know Ohio State won today, which we are court recording saying, the I think seventh. come out with some facts. Bud. My brother in Christ. I'm trying to do the best I can Crap. with what I got. Crap. Georgia dropping the series against Mississippi State. However, they still proved to be a team that should be in the top 25. I think that collectively coming for coming a, a twenty four and eight season so far against a, an opponent like Mississippi State who's twenty one and twelve. I think that they are Georgia's well, right on the heels of, of being in that top twenty five. I'd like to let you know Florida's seventeen and fourteen and they're ranked sixth as of Yeah, I don't quite understand that one. And being swept, especially this weekend, they should rapidly fall by an unranked Missouri team who is 15 and 18. Watch them drop to seven. That'd be crazy. After Wake Forest, what we witnessed there when they're 21 and 10 and they fell all the way to the 21 spot, and then they swept a Virginia Tech team who's ranked number 11. Well-deserved, though, for Virginia Tech. They're 21-8 on the season, but... I don't understand that. I mean, Clemson had a clean sweep this weekend, so they'll probably still take that number two spot. Virginia beat on the series in North Carolina. That was a big one too. Virginia. Um, so I was looking at, yeah, um, took the rubber match against them. They looked for the clean sweep, but they couldn't quite get it after the Saturday game because they played on that Thursday. Um, Arkansas, I believe they they clean they clean swept Old Miss. Um, Texas A&M, South Carolina traded a few games, but at Texas A&M ended up taking that series. Um, Vanderbilt, LSU traded some games back and forth. Vanderbilt took that one. So, yeah, I mean, not a whole ton of missing around, but obviously there are a few standout games, especially looking at, you know, that Florida Atlantic versus East Carolina, Boston College, Florida State. Louisville, especially in the series. UC Santa Barbara taking some games against UC Irvine. It's it's interesting to see kind of these teams that are ranked pretty high. They're losing to non-ranked team. Granted, some of them should be ranked. But Can you expand the ranking. What's tough too is after, you know, hyping up Iowa. As kind of the Big Ten front runner, I think Nebraska could really be the team Nebraska to beat this was, year. Nebraska was the favorite pick by most people. I just but thought with Iowa's one two punch they had in the pitching that they would be better than they are, but they're 16 and 13 on the season. 
So that's really kind of just a, it's a tough look. For them to You're have. a tough look. Meanwhile, Texas Tech also unranked. They're 24 and 9. So that's, again, an interesting kind of take to have there. So uh, I'm wishing that we had more movement kind of now. Now that we've seen some teams kind of, you know, show that they kind of belong there and other teams not so much. But well, Florida. Any better. Illinois is negative 0.5 games behind Nebraska in the Big Ten. I don't know how that works, but negative point five games. Mm-hmm. So they're so they're above know. them. No, I don't know. Anyways, don't know. um, yeah, I just for there it's to be like yeah, especially like you said, the Florida team kind of staying up that high in the rankings yeah. after they've proven that. Pissing me off. They're starting to struggle a lot. I Pissing think they're relying off. too heavily on Jack Caglione. Like, if he's not having a good day, they're not going to have a good day. And it, the, if it comes down to it, they need him to be in the bigger spots. Like, they don't have guys like last year, like when they had like Wyatt Langford, who was another guy that was a big bat. Um, yeah, it, send them out of the top 25 at this point. That was it. I don't know if they would fall that far. I think they should fall out of the top 10, though. Like, they shouldn't be in the top 10 after that kind of showing. Well, you'd think so, but here we are. Yep. We never really know with the rankings and stuff like that. (sighs) Meanwhile, we've got... I gotta pull up the, the the player that I got in my brain. Who the Georgia dude? Uh, Charlie Condon. Who are you talking about? I mean, he had a decent weekend. I thought. Well, Georgia is not even leading their side of the SEC, so. If that makes you feel any better. Yeah. Get the SEC West that is loaded. But, I mean, that's regardless of ranking, though. You're like, I think that, that looking at how difficult their schedule is and looking at how well Georgia's performed so far, I feel like they should be in there. Well, they're 5-7 and seven in the SEC, so. No, they don't deserve to be. Florida owns that. All right. I'm telling you. However, Condon does lead in a lot of. Yeah, Charlie Condon, players. I believe, like, since we haven't given him a big pimp in player of the week, I believe that he should not him. lead that this week. He's not him. He's not him. Not him. Mm-mm. How? Because he's just not. Doesn't even lead in batting average anymore. So. Oh, anymore? Nope. Wow. He's third. Behind who? Edwin De La Cruz and Travis Bazana. Travis Bazana is a good one, too, from Oregon State. Yeah. He's stud. I'm a stud. I would say so, yeah. That's enough for me. So, here we go. Are you done twiddling your balls now? Let's go. No. Figure it out out just one time. Come on. Yeah, you still got Charlie Condon leading the home run. Home run leaders. Like, so, got him, Braden Montgomery, and Travis... Bazana as well. Frank hmm. Nip. Yeah. Oh so, I mean, Bazana is going to be another one to watch too, I guess. But yeah, Charlie Gondon, I believe, is again doing extremely well for that Georgia team for an unranked, hopefully ranked after this weekend team. Who else is doing pretty well is Brett Sears. 
from What's Nebraska. He like? What's he looking like? He's a pitcher. What what's his what's his stuff looking like? He's gangster. That's what he's looking like. All right. Well, should give me one, more than that. A one point one ERA, five dubs. A game started, one complete game shut out. Fifty five innings, fifty seven Ks, point one two seven opponent batting average. Fourth in the nation in ERA. Wait. I lied, Phil. Oh. So, put some respect on their names. Nebraska's name. All right. Well. Buddy. I will do that. No, you won't. Don't lie to them. Well, lie to the, listen. The listen. After last year's stuff, when I was like, give me Nebraska, and they didn't give it to me, you know, I just – I can't stand by it, even though, you know, home – Hometown, home state, pride, all that kind of stuff. I can't. Sounds like it. user error to pick them. To the user error? You pick Old Dominion. Yeah, because they're goaded, and the fucking committee just hates them for no reason. They just get shafted every single year. I really don't know about that one. Okay. I do. Looking now at kind of our midway series, obviously you have some – Schools around the area that will play each other. UNC Wilmington will play NC State. That should be an interesting one to watch since UNC Wilmington is always kind of a little on the outskirts. Another big one to watch is Coastal Carolina and Wake Forest. They will be playing. And then my computer froze to sick. Fuck it. I love this for me. Figure it out. Please. Coast Carolina Wake Forest will be a good one because Coast Carolina still ranks 20th and Wake Forest is ranked 21st at this time. That'll kind of change probably. But. Who the hell was my school that I assigned myself? They were the Lions, I think. I just don't remember what. Uh Annoying. Iona has four wins on the season. I don't know if you knew Dude, that. Dude, Iona's back. We said this. We did? Iona's back. All right. When? When did we say Here that? Them. Yeah, Old Dominion's 16 and 15. Yeah. On the season. We're getting shafted. What do you want from us? All right. Anyways, now that my computer kind of caught up. Um, Florida and Florida State and North Carolina, South Carolina are the other big ones to watch for kind of midweek games as far as ranked opponents and pretty, I feel like, competitive baseball. Now looking ahead to Thursday. This is going to annoy me. What's going to annoy you? Who my team is. Oh, who your team was? I have to look back at previous episodes. To kick off ACC play um, on Thursday, Miami will start the series against Florida State. For the SEC, Kentucky and Auburn will start play, as well as Missouri and Georgia. Missouri looking at a good sweep and coming into it facing a hot Georgia team. If Georgia, I believe, can take the series or sweep Missouri, they will have a good shot of making it into the top 25. As far as then other games, Wake Forest, Boston College. It's not this school, is it? No No shot. Virginia, Louisville. Louisville, again, a team that's that's not a pushover in the series. Um, Nebraska and Rutgers. South Carolina and Florida will play weekend series. NC State, Clemson, Arkansas, Alabama, uh, Vanderbilt, Texas A and M, LSU, Tennessee, Texas Tech, TCU. That's usually a pretty good matchup. Both unranked right now, but always teams that kind of make an appearance. Mississippi State, Ole Miss. Uh, 
then Stanford, Oregon State. And Oregon State seems to be the front runner out in the Pac-12 as it exists. I might fight somebody. You're trying to still find your team? Yes. You just got to be better, kid. All right. My boys, well, found, the Golden Bears. All right. I'm riding with them. Still winless. Who? UMES. UM, UMES? Yeah. They're Owen, what? 25. 20, 25? Have they faced even like good opponents or has it been mm-hmm. like. Just... Have they been competitive in games at least? Mm, yeah, that game. They just can't no can't pull it out. Game. Just that one game. <laughs> so once competitive, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they tasted they they had the taste of victory right there, and they just couldn't grasp it. Uh-huh. Interesting. This is annoying. I don't remember who my damn school was. You have to look back at previous episodes. Viewers, if you want to find out um, what school Mikey picked, you can check back out our previous episodes. They are up on on YouTube, um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you get your podcast from. Shout out Cranio Media for putting us out on all platforms. I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. But I'd say it's, it's been pretty uneventful so far as far as, like, I mean, you know, you got competitive play going on right now. Because we're obviously getting into the meat now of the conferences, seeing who's pulling ahead and who's not. Obviously, ACC, SEC are going to be real competitive, just like they are every year. We really have no surprises, I guess, in the top 25 right now. You know, teams that are hanging in there. Florida. That's that's not a surprise. That's a disappointment that the committee is not better. So I feel like they're fine getting ranked there at the beginning of the season, you know, like made it to the national championship game, had a few key players come back, looked it was competitive. Alcorn State, wasn't it? Alcorn State, is that yours? It might have been. Maybe not. Maybe it was. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you either, man. Has to be. Has to be. So I'm going with. Now you're searching up their record? Uh Uh-uh. Oh, all right. Well. Nope, it's not that one. Not Alcorn C? Nope. Interesting. They're the Hawks. Hmm. I swear to God it was them, though, because I don't think I picked any Lions. They would have been monarchs. You picked the Lions because, but... because then we were like, you were like, no, it's the Lion, it's the Monarchs, because you were like, Old, Old Dominion's elite. No, the Old, you're like, it's Old Dominion Lions and this team, Monarchs, even though they were the Lions and Old Dominion are Monarchs. Stop lying to the people. All right. Well, I don't need to have you that lip from you. All the time. Come on here. I want to have a good time informing the people about college baseball. You come out here. You say what you want. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. Usually how it goes. Anyways. There's UMES. It's not those bastards. Yeah, I don't know what else. It's not the Mountain West. Maybe it is the Mountain West. It's not the Mountain West. It's not Missouri Valley. Are you just looking at all the conferences and their worst teams? Sure as shit am. I respect it. This. It's not that one. All right. Well, I can plug um, for the people then. Brady you can find George. out if we have any updates on our Twitter and TikTok. We are at both at Omaha pod. Um, we'll get kind of post up when we get the episodes posted, all that kind of stuff. Any updates you might need from us. Uh, if you're on our channel, no place like Omaha, please like and subscribe. 
like if you're also on any podcasting platforms, let's get those boosts up. Um, let friends, family, teachers, whoever know about us, put a name out there, you know, plug it for the people in case they're curious about college baseball, all that kind of stuff. Since March Madness is wrapping up, baseball will so slowly start to pick up. Let me slowly. I mean, we're we're right now in the heat of it, but a lot of people are also focused on March Madness, especially if they have money on the line for like brackets and stuff like that. Dude, I'm not finding it. I don't think I got it. I'm honest with you. Dang. All I think I can tell you is that UMBS is still winless. UMBS. All right. Well, we'll keep it's an eye out. UMES. UMES. Say it correctly. Hold the respect to the boys name. getting their first dub this season. Let's let's get after it. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have two hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I lied. Zero count. I didn't find him. Ask the oh. UMES though. They're the Hawks. I don't remember this. I have no idea. I don't know if to tell you that, dude. Fuck out for you. We'll check in next week. All that okay. stuff and, and maybe look back at the episodes, try to keep ourselves informed, and then we'll, we'll know what team was. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will catch you next week.